What's up gamers, Russ Lyman here and welcome back to another Top 3 Tuesday. It is finally December and depending on what part of the country you live, that means you're going to get some snow. Now of course there are plenty of snow levels in video games. Some are easier to play and others definitely are frustrating. So we're going to count down my top three favorite, well, snow levels. Definitely a classic game, a nice running gun shooter. Coming in at number three. Number three is the snow fields in Contra. Now this level starts off and you're standing on some icy structures running through the forest in the background with grenades getting hurled out at you. Definitely timing is key in this. You can get hit by grenades, stray bullets from people showing up, but you push forward and keep going on through the level. I just love how the level looks with the ice that you're running across and the dark night sky with some stars in there and all the snow covered trees, the evergreens in the background. Very great atmosphere. Progressing through the level, you'll come across an area with some water that you have to get across with some icebergs in it. Finally crossing that, fighting the first mini boss tank with spikes and a machine gun. Not too sure what this has to do with ice and snow, but I guess it looks like it could definitely plow through some snow and a snowstorm, so yeah, why not? Then it's back into the woods for more action and bombs flying in. Definitely a fun and frustrating level. I kind of wish that the end boss was maybe some type of abominable snowman or, or something towards the fact of that rather than just a UFO in the sky. I don't know. Moving on to my next selection that's on Super Nintendo. Number two. And that's in Mega Man X, Chill Penguin Stage. Now this stage has snow in the beginning of the level. And one thing that I love is they have a robot lumberjack that chops wood that flies at you. You can then make your way to an underground cave full with ice floors. So be careful not to fall into any pits. This is the level where you come across one of Dr. Light's upgrade tubes, giving you the dash boots. A fantastic upgrade right off the bat. Hence why most people start with this level when they play the game. Moving on, you eventually make it to a part where you find a sweet mech suit that you could run around in. Pouncing through the snow and beating up the other mechs in there is pretty awesome. Again, this does a great job with detail in this level where all the stuff in the background has slight ice on it or maybe some of the ledges that you're jumping on. There's ice crystals hanging from the ceiling in the cave parts. And even when in the background, you can see off in the distance the ice mountains with plenty of snow on it. It just makes you feel cold playing the level. And finally, you make it to Chill Penguin himself. Definitely cool robot master. He makes ice sculptures of penguins that he can blow at you, creating a winter storm in the level. And he shoots ice chunks out of his mouth that can crash into you. But overall, once you get his pattern down, He's pretty easy to defeat. Well, I definitely love me some Mega Man X. <laughs> Moving on to my number one pick for snowy levels. Number one! It's definitely from one of my favorite games, and that's Super Mario Bros. 2. This level is pretty awesome. I'm playing it on the Mario All-Stars version, where they have a little bit more updated graphics to it. It's definitely a slippery slope once you start because you're on ice cubes, and you have to dodge a lot of enemies. But it's great to look in the background and see some other snowy islands, along with snow on the trees. The different colors of blue that they use throughout this level definitely makes you feel cold and chilly. And I even love the little title cards in between each level that they show. There's a little bit of trees with snow on it and it definitely sets the scene. When you get further in the level, there are some whales that are awesome to look at. They're super cute, a nice bright purple that pops off of all the blue. 
and you're able to ride up their little spouts of water. Definitely some secrets in here if you grab a potion and carry it to the end of the level, you're able to get a warp zone. But I certainly love the atmosphere of this one. It has some charm and simplicity that just says ice level. All right, everyone, chill. Well, guys, that was it. That was a couple ice levels that I enjoy playing. A lot of them could be frustrating, but some you can get some enjoyment out of it. Now, I know I didn't mention all the ice levels. There are definitely some honorable mentions. Of course, the Himalayas in DuckTales on NES is a fantastic one. But I know there's tons of others. So let me know in the comments down below what one of your favorite ice levels is. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more videos weekly. As always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.